Report. Final checks have been completed. Everything is ready. Very well. Agent O'Neill, I'm picking up a lot of radio chatter, sir. It sounds like the Germans are gearing up for a counterattack. Then we better move. Agent Carter, after this train is departed, you two will return to your lines. Yes, sir, but I'm running low on coal. Is there somewhere nearby I can get more? No. The Nazis cleared out every depot when they retreated. You can take some of mine. Negative. There's no time. And you'll need every ounce of your to reach the coast. But, sir, I'll be all right. What you're carrying is more important. Indeed. Agent Lang, Move out. Yes, sir. Good luck. You too. Oh, this was so satisfying. Enjoy it while it lasts, mate. They can't hold Johnny Cuba. Then we should make the most of it. I won't tell you anything. You will if you know what's best for you. What's best is for me to do my job. Being a thief isn't a job. It's better than being a war criminal. Yeah, I know who you are. They never rebuilt that hospital you destroyed. It's now a memorial to all the people you killed. Sorry, mate, you got the wrong ADF. Let's move on. Despite your livery, there is no record you work for the Western Australia Greater Railway or any other railway 
employee for that matter. Who built you? Kangaroos, mate. What about the payment for your services? Why is that required? Because I don't take checks. How do you know where they're made? Magic. How are you able to control railway infrastructure? Magic. How are you able to refuel and repair yourself? Magic. Mr. Cuba, your refusal to cooperate will have consequences. Like what? A final firing? If necessary. I'm not scared. Everyone dies. Do your worst. As you wish. Agent Lang, transport the prisoner to Site 42 when he's re-railed. Yes, sir. I thought you knew he could do that. We did. We also know he can't teleport while pulling a train. We theorized this ability, like all the others, was linked to his fuel supply. But despite disconnecting his tender, it didn't seem to matter. Are you sure he even needs coal and water? Yes, we are. We have devised a new theory regarding his powers. We now believe they're derived from the rails themselves. And if he's separated from them, they won't work. This might explain how he knows where an offering is made. I read the file on Johnny Cuba after Gavin mentioned him. <sighs> I can't believe so many people were willing to sacrifice a family member to summon him, and I can't believe nobody in the Foundation was willing to do the same, even the ones with terminal illnesses. It can't be easy killing someone you love, sir. It was for Cuba's clients. Some people are just wired wrong. Indeed, and he has worked for several since his escape. I'm sure it won't be long before another reaches out. You're absolutely sure about this? I'm sure. It needs to be done. We can find another way. Maybe you'll get better. You're right. The cancer's only in my lungs, heart, stomach, and kidney. Before I die, I want to do something that'll help the cause. We don't know if this will work. It could be complete shite. Only one way to find out. Owen, come on now. No tears. Dad would kick your ass if he saw you blubbering. Tell him I love him, and I hope this does him proud. It will. I know it will. All right. <sighs> I'm ready. Do it. Goodbye. G'day mate, how's it going? Holy shit, I never get tired of hearing that. What's the job? We know where he is? We might. Intelligence confirms he's been contacted by a group of Irish terrorists. We apprehended several of them. They told us they were planning to rob a Ministry of Defense supply train. That's ballsy. Do we know which one? Not specifically. Only their leader does and he escaped. However, Agent Lang spoke to a witness who saw Cuba lurking around the Rossworth Vale in the Midlands. An MOD train is scheduled to pass through there in the coming days. When do we leave? Immediately. Report. Our people are in position, sir. What about the railway inspector's unit? They're on standby, sir. They all know the plan. We're to funnel Cuba onto an old branch line where the damaged track will force him to derail. What about the train itself? We've swapped out everything on board with replicas. That's too bad. I kind of like the idea of him going up in flames. That will do, Agent Lang. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just itching for some payback. Never get personal, Agent Lang. That's how mistakes are made. Is he really that detached from all this? I know he is, but I'm not. I want to catch this mongrel as much as you. Let's make sure we do that. Here, here. Good luck, Gavin. You too, Alan.
Report. He's dead, sir. The divers say his boiler split from cab to smoke box. Cold water and hot metal don't mix. What about Cuba? They lost sight of him. How unfortunate. You again? Mate, you need to find a hobby, and you need to start talking if you're to have any hope of seeing the light of day again. Is that supposed to scare me? Why am I wasting my breath on you? That's right, walk away, you mongrel. It doesn't matter where you send me, I'll get out. They can't hold Johnny Cuba! Report. The cover story is out. As far as the public is concerned, he's on his way to Railgate. Is the ship still on schedule? Yes, sir. She'll be here by sundown. But we are going to have to re-rail Cuba in order to bring him closer to the dock side. Dr. Murphy, is the green water ready? Yes, sir. We have enough to sedate a dozen engines. Start pouring. <laughs> Oh, and in case you're wondering, sir, we recovered Agent Lang's remains and they've been scrapped. I wasn't wondering, but thank you for informing me. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I've never seen such an intense reaction to green water. Dr. Pierce! Why would green water have killed him? It wouldn't, but that's not what they gave him. The Foundation fouled up and put black water into the wrong barrels. What do you mean the Foundation fouled up? If you believe the wiki, they're the ones who manufacture green and black water. How could black water have done that to him? Hang on, didn't you say he was sent to Railgate where he sang like a canary? That's what we were told. Maybe that was the truth, or maybe that was a cover story so the authorities could save face. And would you believe I never thought to ask Peter if he saw him there until just now? So this Alan was his brother? Yes, after Brian told us about him, so Topham looked him up. It seems his first firing happened a week after Peter left the works, so they never met, and they never would. Alan died in 1963 from metal fatigue. Do you believe that? I don't know. There's also the matter of Oliver and Toad. Their mission was partially declassified in 1987. They were apparently assigned to a task force that tracked a special train the Nazis had developed. I don't know any more than that. The only thing Oliver ever said about it was dodgy intelligence sent him and Toad to the wrong spot. Though if the Foundation went after it, well, I shudder to think what might have been on board, but it must have been valuable if the Nazis contacted Johnny Cuba to get it back. You know, I was somewhat glad when the wiki said he snuffed it. No surprise, he sounded like a right scallywag. But where do you suppose he came from? I guess we'll never know.